Well, well, I think because all of these studies are focused on, on primarily P PCR, and that's not how we classic retrovirologists have identified either of the other two uh, human retroviruses, particularly not HTLV-1, which was so difficult to find, so cell-associated. Um, we're talking about DNA hypermethylation of these viral genomes in cells so that they're not expressed. Um, so when you use complementary methods, as we did, 25, 30 years ago when we did most of the work in HIV and HTLV-1, we used all of these methods to increase the power of def defining not just a simple PCR. I'm sorry, John. Myra McClure in Peter College, London. I can't agree with that, Judy. I mean, a lot of us have done the serology as well. We would, uh, we would isolate virus if we could find positives. We can't, can't find positives, we can't get the virus. But certainly the serology is backing up our PCR, and I frankly don't know what else we can do. I have at least 50 positives right from the London area, and, and many more besides that using um, the techniques that we validated um, in our paper and clinically and that have been used throughout this room. I'm very happy to be proved wrong if people can send positives. But what I said to you when you very kindly offered to send me some positives to my lab, they have to be independently sent. And I, we agreed to do that, to have phlebotomy services send them Well, I'm happy to do that now. But at the time, you wanted to send reagents from your lab to mine. Well, the, the monoclonal antibodies and the antibodies that have been validated, the 7C10, I haven't seen the other assays clinically validated to detect a clinical sample. They're very highly specific against expressed XMRV proteins from VP62, a, a reference standard that um, you know, so far hasn't been detected in, in a natural isolate as, as, as prevalently as some of the other variation that one would expect in a retrovirus. I don't, I don't well, quite know. Uh, about today, we saw reasonable, reasonable things from the FDA and the CDC and, all right, they found, one found positives where the other found negative, another found negative where the other found positive, and they still use validated tests. We do not know at the moment what the difference is, if it's, if it's processing or whatnot, but I stand on the recommendation I made until we understand it better, negative PCR is not a standalone assay for detection of this virus in clinical samples. I agree with that. No, we have. We've now done the serology. Sorry. No, we haven't. Oh, sorry. Uh, uh, 